at Westfield Bondi Junction uh, in Sydney. We want to bring a few updates on the situation right now. I'm Leo Puglisi in the Six News headquarters. This is an evolving, breaking news situation. There's a lot of things we don't know yet, and uh, we expect police to address this all shortly. But from what we know, uh, just over an hour ago, actually close to about two hours ago now, several people were stabbed inside Westfield Bondi Junction in Sydney. A gunshot were heard after that what we understand that to be was police shooting the suspect that is our understanding at the moment heavily armed police were seen on the rooftop of the shopping center in a statement, Waverley Council, the local council, said the following. They said, quote, A police operation is currently underway at Westfield Bondi Junction. The centre is locked down amid reports of multiple stabbings. No further information is available at this stage. Please avoid any unnecessarily travel uh, to the Bondi Junction CBD. What we have also now heard, and this is pretty distressing, but we understand a mother and her infant child are among those stabbed. Uh, the Daily Telegraph reporting right now, 10 people stabbed and uh, at least four of those dead. Again, we are expecting New South Wales to police, uh, police to speak at any moment. We're not sure uh, on that yet, um, but just um, do bear with us on that. Um, the scene was still considered active as of an hour ago, but it is now, we understand it, to be uh, under control at the moment. And again, we're just waiting for that police press conference. I believe it was set to start around uh, 5.45 local time. It's just gone 6.05 now, uh, and uh, we're still obviously just waiting for that conference to start. Uh, we'll, of course, bring you the very latest developments uh, when they come in. But again, at the moment, um, this is what we know so far. Uh, Again, at least four reported dead, at least ten stabbed total, and that includes a mother and her infant child. Uh, those are the reports that we've seen at this hour. So again, we're just really at the moment waiting um, for uh, uh, police uh, to come out and say anything. It's it's a matter of waiting at the moment. But what you're seeing on screen now, some some of that footage that we've we've seen from the past couple of hours. Um, there's other pretty distressing footage on social media which we are not airing right now. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is what we can tell you at the moment. And this, these are some of the scenes that we've seen right across social media and that have been sent into the six newsroom. And uh, and this is what we know at the moment. Um, so do bear with us as, as we try to get some more information on this. Again, New South Wales Police due to hold a media conference sometime soon. I'm not sure when um, they're speaking sometime soon, but... Uh, you know, give it a second or or not. So we're going to wait and and hold for that press conference uh, at the moment. Um, but a lot of information that we don't know yet. We're going to uh, keep following that. Stay with us now. You're watching this breaking news story, and we're going to keep our coverage uh, going. Um, in the meantime, just stay tuned. We're going to get some more reporters on this, and we're going to get back to the story in just a moment.
You're still with us here on 6 News as we follow this breaking news story. Again, at least four people reported dead after the stabbing at a west field in Bondi Junction in Sydney. We know New South Wales police are spent to speak shortly. Our political editor, Roman McKinnon, has been following this story all afternoon. He's with us now live. Roman, what more do we know about exactly what's happened, and especially this uh, suspect that we've seen all over social media? Absolutely a dramatic unfolding of events uh, at Westfield Bondi Junction. All of the patrons inside were evacuated. This happened just before 4 p.m. local time. What we know about the suspect is he was wearing a green and gold, green and gold what looks to be Australian uh, football jersey. He was wielding a large knife. From unconfirmed reports, um, a police officer, um, there was gunshots fired from uh, what we're understanding that a police officer did fire that onto the suspect. So uh, as you can see uh, now, that uh, green and gold jersey, um, you can see uh, members of the public using bollards to try and block uh, the suspect. Um, this vision uh, that you're seeing right now is on level five where he's running towards people scaring them off um a massive uh this is absolutely incredible footage this was taken on level five um just going back to the bollards people were blocking them uh some reports say that uh, some people were throwing them from um above levels to try and hit him and knocking him out um what we know is uh, a nine month old infant infant was stabbed uh, Eyewitness reports say uh, that that nine-month-old baby was stabbed. Uh, yeah, the we're not sure of that of condition. That I just want to, sorry to interrupt, Roman, I was just going to say, I just want to bring up now um, that relevant uh, footage of the, um, the the guy with the bollard. And it's 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 pretty stunning footage um, when you look mm. at it, all things considered, given, of course, this he's clearly got a large knife. Um, this is... it. In, incredible bravery there we're not we're not sure of the condition of of that uh guy in the white shirt will obviously work yeah, to figure that one out see, but yeah, you yeah can i'll see just i'll just i'll just work to, yeah back. look there's there it is that's all you need to see on screen now and that is a pretty shocking scene to mm, put it lightly uh, yeah definitely a, a, a courageous act from not just that person but a lot of people uh, members of the public trying to uh, scare this suspect off. Really, what happened on a busy Saturday afternoon in a very famous location in Sydney, obviously Bondi Beach right next to Bondi Junction, uh, and a major shopping centre as well. Think of a major shopping centre in your city, something maybe along the lines of um, how big it really is. Um, so you can see bollards, as I mentioned before, uh, people throwing them from um, upstairs levels. Uh, you could also see him running, uh, the, the, the suspect uh, running around as well, um, trying to scare those people. Um, uh, what we know is that shop owners were um, uh, 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 holding people inside to, to uh, as soon as they heard those gunshots and those screaming and the yelling and the running, shop owners letting people inside their shops closing the doors, going to the backs of the rooms in, in, in darkness for quite a number of hours and um, staggering the, um, the departure from those shops. You can see on your screen uh, people running for, uh, for safety, um, absolutely terrifying for them. And we uh, heard from a number of witnesses um, just really what happened, uh, emergency sirens, uh, bell uh, sirens, uh, inside the center in just a really chaotic um, event for all of the people involved. Um, you can see numbers of ambulance, tactical squad, uh, tactical squad um, not only from the ground, but from the air and from the rooftop as well. We could see uh, some footage of a uh, tactical squad uh, from New South Wales police uh, at the rooftop um, at the time that was happening. They didn't know how many suspects there were. We do uh, know now that there was one and the situation is under control. So just repeating that, police have confirmed it is one attacker and the situation is under control. Yeah, and that's the attack you see there. I know there's been a lot of speculation and posts about things like motives or whatever. We cannot say 
anything to that effect, Roman. I think we should make that really, really clear at the moment. Um, there is yes. legitimately zero information you can gather about the suspect except for a couple of grainy videos of them in that uh, Australian um, football jersey, but that's really it at the moment. Police may say more, although it's still early. I imagine in their investigations <laughs> that goes without saying, and again, they'll be speaking... Uh, well, actually, they were supposed to speak about half an hour ago. We'll, we'll be with you for when they do speak. I believe media are setting up um, the press conference mm. about now. Um, but we've got, also... we've got a statement from New South Wales Premier Chris Minns on this. This was uh, uploaded to social media four minutes ago. It says, quote, I am horrified to hear about the event at Bondi Junction this afternoon. I am making immediate arrangements to return to Sydney. I want to thank New South Wales Police, Emergency Services and first responders and the community for their bravery in the face of this shocking incident. Yeah, and I, I should just say, I should from. just say, Roman, that is because he is actually on leave at the moment, um, yes. which is why he mentioned he's, he's coming back to return. That is obviously no surprise he's coming back to return. Um, I'll just bring that one up on screen for, for everyone at the moment, that statement there from, uh, from the New South Wales Primary, and you'd expect expect him to probably speak sometime um, tomorrow, um, if yes, not sooner. Absolutely. Um, but th there it is on screen it's now it's again. There's the statement um, from I Chris Minns, but go the on. Community. Sorry, Leo. I wanted to thank the community for their bravery. Obviously, um, massive, uh, massive amount of bravery that um, a number of those shop goers uh, faced. You can see that men in the white shirt there um, holding the bollard, but also people... Uh, shop owners, like every single person in that um, in uh, Westfield Bondi Junction, showed an enormous amount of bravery in a time where I'm sure most of them, nearly a hundred percent of them, were very, very scared in in uh, an ever changing situation. We've also got a statement from Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. He says, "Quote: I have been briefed by the AFP on the devastating events at Bondi Junction." Tragically, multiple casualties have been reported and the first thoughts of all Australians are with those affected and their loved ones. Our hearts go out to those injured and we offer our thanks to those caring for them as well as our brave police and first responders. So, so that is what we know from there. Sorry, Roman, can I just get for those who didn't hear it who that statement was from? Uh, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, right, that statement he, he, was wrong. Oh, here we go. Um, I believe um, police are just speaking now. We're going to cut to that now. Thank you. We're good. Thank you. About 10 past three this afternoon, a male walked into Westfield at Bondi Junction. He left the centre very shortly after and returned about 20 past three. As he moved through the centre, he engaged with about nine people it is clear that during that engagement he caused harm to those people we believe by stabbing them with a weapon he was carrying very clearly a range of reports were made of the incident police attended promptly a single unit officer inspector of police was nearby attended uh, went into the center directed by a range of people she confronted the offender who had moved by this stage to level five as she continued to walk quickly behind him to catch up with him he turned faced her raised a knife she discharged the firearm and that person is now deceased i'm advised that there are five victims who are now deceased as a result of the actions of this offender. Uh, there are more than several other people who have been conveyed to hospital. A number of those are in serious and or critical conditions at this stage and I do not have further information in relation to um, descriptions of those people. I know one of them is a small child. As is the case in, in these incidents, a critical incident has been declared uh, and investigations in relation to the matter uh, have commenced and are continuing. 
uh, both at the scene and a number of uh, hospitals uh, in the nearby area. From preliminary inquiries it would appear that this person has acted alone. I am content that there is no continuing threat. Uh, police, as I've said, have commenced investigations into the matter, which will continue through the evening. As I have said, I do not have details of victims who have been um, killed by this individual, nor those who have been conveyed to hospital for treatment. So I cannot provide you further information in relation to them, only to say that very clearly, our hearts go out uh, to all of them as they do to anyone touched by this terrible incident this afternoon. I do not have information in relation to the offender. I do not know at this stage who he is. You would be, uh, you would understand this is quite raw. Uh, inquiries are very new and we are continuing to make attempts to identify the offender in this matter. Uh, that is it for the moment in terms of information that I have for you. Brent from New South Wales Ambulance. Thank you. Uh, good evening everyone. Uh, shortly after three o'clock uh, today New South Wales Ambulance received multiple triple zero calls for uh, persons stabbed within Westfield Bono Junction. Uh, we've responded a total of 40 uh, resources to the scene who remain on scene uh, still. Uh, that included a total of four medical teams. Uh, New South Wales Ambulance uh, assessed and transported uh, eight, uh, eight patients uh, to various uh, facilities, hospital facilities uh, across Sydney uh, and assessed uh, a total of six patients uh, who have been deemed deceased on the scene. Questions? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, I didn't catch that. Sorry, any idea of the there's nothing that we are aware of at the scene that would indicate any motive or any ideology. Yes, so are you ruling out terrorism at this stage? We're not ruling anything out. You said he went into the centre where Wayne came back. Yes. What were there? How were there? We do not know. What I do know is that he did enter the centre at 3 o'clock. He left for a short period, returned at 3.20. And what is that weapon? A knife of some description. I don't have those particular. What's the period of time between when the attack occurred? This all happened very, very quickly. The officer was in the near vicinity, attended on her own, was guided to the location of the offender by people who were in the centre, and she took the actions that she did, saving a range of people's lives. Did I hear you correctly before you said she was an inspector? An inspector, that's right. A senior police officer. And how long was she on her own? She was on her own. And how long between when she arrived on scene till she had that? She engaged immediately on her arrival to the scene. What did you say? Did you say that you found anything that was I don't have any indication of any motivation coming from the scene at all. You must appreciate that uh, things are very, very raw at this stage, and we are in the very early stages of investigation. Just in case we know there's one baby that uh, has been stabbed. Of the five dead or the others injured, do you know? Is there a remainder adults or are there any other children? I don't have that detail at the moment, I'm sorry. Have you ever seen anything like this in your oh, This is a really difficult circumstance. Uh, no. It's a very big crime scene here. What's the police investigation going to be like over the next couple of days? Lengthy. Lengthy and precise. There are reports of people still hiding in stores. What's the process now in terms of checking the entire centre? We are working through the crime scene to retain control and you would understand that you know first and foremost this is about dealing with this terrible situation making sure that all people are safe and then working through and returning to normal city. How do you know that he was in the centre and came back to that from CCTV or the interact with that? No, from monitoring of CCTV. Ladies and gents, I'm sorry it's really difficult at this very early stage to give more information. I'll be briefing our executive uh, shortly and I understand that there will be uh, further briefings later. A number, a number of witnesses jumped in and tried to assist some of the victims. What do you have to say to some of those people who, who tried to help? Well, I'm not sure of the detail, but there are obviously people who become uh, very brave in circumstances. Thanks, everybody. Thanks Thank you very much.
Uh, Roman, we just heard there, and you just heard there from um, police, and I'll just repeat the information that we just got there. Five people have been confirmed dead after that stabbing, and m m significant others, multiple others, um, are in a serious condition in hospital. That includes, um, we believe, an infant is among those taken to hospital. The suspect was shot dead. The suspect is dead, and police say um, that suspect was acting alone. So that is the lone attacker is dead. We can confirm that. Uh, Roman, wh what else did we just hear there? It was a lone senior female police officer who discharged her weapon and shot the suspect. Um, we heard from the New South Wales police there that uh, members of the public guided her. She was on her own uh, before any other backup arrived. Members of the public uh, guided her to where the suspect was. Uh, she she followed uh, the suspect, uh, walked behind the suspect quickly, which then he turned around, lifted up the knife. Then the female police officer discharged her weapon and shot the suspect dead. Um, the suspect engaged with nine people. Um, as I just mentioned, the suspect and five others are now dead. The uh, nine-month-old infant is in a critical condition. Yeah, um, I should just also clarify, that is, I, I know you got to correct there, but just for those listening, um, those five dead, that um, excludes the attacker. So the attacker is dead, five victims are dead. So that's a total of six people dead out of this, but five yes. people who were stabbed there. We should just make that um, clear, but go on. Um, obviously, uh, still, um, the New South Wales police say uh, the he was acting uh, on his own and there was no uh, links so far to terrorism or any motives uh, or any ideology behind uh, this attack. I do want to mention that the suspect entered Westfield Bondi Junction at 3 p.m. He left and then he returned 20 minutes later, which then carried out his attack. So that's something interesting uh, taken away from the press conference. So he entered, left, and then came back, which, uh, which is when it all unfolded. That's what we've just heard there. Um... Can you just go over what we heard from the Prime Minister uh, and the New South Wales Premier a few minutes ago just before the press conference as well? Because I know Chris Minns is actually uh, on a break right now, but he is returning. Prime Minister has put out a statement uh, just over 20 minutes ago. He says, quote, I have, been be uh, I have been briefed by the AFP on the devastating events at Bondi Junction. Tragically, multiple casualties have been reported and the first thoughts of all Australians are with those affected and their loved ones. Our, our hearts go out to, to those injured and we offer our thanks to those caring for them, as well as our brave police and first responders. So, um, yeah, that's what uh, uh, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has, uh, has put out. I wanted to mention a few things from New South Wales Ambulance. Uh, 40 paramedics were on scene. As you can see in a, a number of the footage, uh, that that uh, those uh, paramedics um, lining the street and lining uh, the the perimeter of Westfield Bondi Junction. Um, also, just before uh, probably an hour ago, maybe halfway through up to now, halfway through uh, this um, whole uh, 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 unfolding incident was. Uh, paramedics were deemed not to go inside because the situation wasn't under control. New South Wales police were unsure if there was more suspects involved. We also heard that um, we also heard that uh, uh, the uh, the shoppers in the area, after being um, let go from the um, the uh, shops where uh, doors were locked and closed while the situation uh, was still unfolding. We saw um, uh, Queensland, uh, not Queensland Police, sorry, New South Wales uh, Police uh, go to the shop doors uh, 
and um, shoppers were ran basically with everything they had to the nearest exit where New South Wales police and um, tactical guards were waiting. Everyone came out with their uh, hands in the air because at that moment, New South Wales police had no clue who was the suspect and um, what was going on then. Right, yeah, so that's what we know uh, at the moment. Again, you've just heard there. Um, you'd expect the New South Wales Premier to speak uh, sometime tomorrow, if not put out a further statement tonight. Um, but again, this is, from all accounts, and Roman, you and I have both seen some of that pretty graphic video uh, on social media, which obviously we, we cannot re-air here. Um, this is horrific and again you've got a, a, an infant baby among those in a serious condition right now um that baby's mother was believed to be stabbed as well um just all round just a just a horrific scene sorry leo we heard from someone who actually helped the baby they said they used their shirts to uh stop the bleeding um uh, unconfirmed reports right now. This is um, completely from eyewitness uh, reports that said the attacker stabbed uh, the uh, mother with the baby and then the mother threw um, the baby, that nine month old baby to yeah. uh, another man. Yeah, which we're, we're, working to get, we're working to get some confirmation on that. Um, but police did confirm a small, a small child and the other reports are indicating um, it was the, um, uh, um, uh, the 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 mother was was one of those attacked, but um, yeah, we're we're working to figure out some more information on this. There's obviously still a a lot that we don't know, and there's a lot we'll 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 start to know soon. You'd think, um, but but still, just just um, a, a lot of unknowns at this point. Can we just go back, Roman, just quickly to? We just heard it again there, but I just want to quickly go back to the start of this um, and how this all all unfolded from what we just learned from police there. At around um, just before, uh, no, sorry, at three o'clock, the suspect who, as you can see on your screen there, was wearing a green, green and gold, what looks to be Australian uh, football jumper, uh, wielding a large knife, uh, entered uh, Westfield Bondi Junction. That was at 3 p.m. He then left, then returned at uh, 3.20. So 20 minutes later, he then returned, um, which uh, then carried out uh, these absolutely awful events, which we have um, seen. The lone senior female police officer was the first to arrive on scene. She was then um, uh, given directions by members of the public uh, to the suspect's whereabouts. Um, then she uh, approached uh, the suspect uh, quickly, um, which then he turned around, um, uh, lifted that knife up, which then the female uh, police officer discharged her weapon and shot uh, the suspect dead. We're not sure of any identification of the suspect yet. And also, also really importantly as well, Roman, um, police said they're not ruling terrorism in or out. They've also said there is nothing at the scene at this moment to indicate any kind of motivation or ideology at the scene at this moment. So that should be really clear. I know we've seen speculation um, on social media. You've seen as well, haven't you, of, of people linking it immediately to Absolutely. Uh, Israel, and Palestine or things like that. We don't know at this point. That cannot be stressed enough. There is nothing indicating anything. We don't know. There are like three pictures of this suspect and they're all grainy, right? So we really cannot confirm anything more. We'll bring you updates if we know them and when we find out. Um, but at this point, there's really just nothing that can be said at this moment uh, in relation to that. It's all just speculation, which which doesn't help the situation. Three, and this and this event is three hours old, so um, lots of speculation out, but you can really rule almost all of it out because nothing is confirmed. Once uh, things are con uh, once things are confirmed, then you have the